Hi, I'm Larry, head of support at Nosto. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to implement Nosto on any e-commerce platform using our general tagging guide and demonstrate how the data exchange works. Notice that if you install Nosto through extensions or plugins, the following steps are implemented automatically and you can directly jump to study how to add recommendations. Watching this video will however help you to understand how data is exchanged between a target site and Nosto. By adding a Nosto embed script, we generally establish a connection between a site and Nosto. The script is universal and has only one unique segment, the part that has to be customized by you, which is the Nosto account ID at the end of the script. Place the script into the head section of the main page template so that the script is loaded on every page load, similarly to a web analytics tracking script like Google Analytics. In case you can't add the script in the header section, place it on the top of the body, but never as a last element in the page structure, as this will slow down Nosto's load times. On the note, Nosto script is loaded asynchronously to a separate window object, so it can't slow down nor prevent your site's normal operation or block your customers from ordering. After adding the script to the page template, Nosto can track traffic and visitors, but we need to interpret the content of pages correctly. This is done by tagging HTML objects on different e-commerce specific page types. Let's take a look at the product page first. The functionality of tagging is pretty simple. On every page load, map the required product details into Nosto's data fields by positioning a method that returns the required value within Nosto's tags. The content of tagging is loaded to Nosto directly from a visitor's browser, hence Nosto doesn't increase load on your servers. However, make the tagging readable in the page structure in plain HTML and do not return any of the values through scripting. Few details are specific and important for a product page, so please pay attention. Let's start with price. Price is the current selling price of a product. Map the original or suggested retail price to list price field and possible other special prices to any of the available metadata fields, tag 1, 2 or 3. Availability is the general availability of a product. Return a predefined value in stock in availability if a product is available for purchase. Return value out of stock if a product is unavailable. Please note that unavailable products are automatically removed from Nosto's catalog until they are again available on the store. The last important point is the consistency of the product ID and common issues with stock keeping units. Especially in fashion, a main product can feature multiple stock keeping units such as color and size options. In case a product has multiple SKUs, Map only the main product's ID to Nosto and entirely ignore the product variable segment in the product ID. Again, availability should also be for the main product, or in other words, if a product has availability for any SKU, report it as available. Next, let's take a look at the card page and focus on product ID here. Just like on the product page, the product ID needs to be set for the main product and not for the SKU. Reported price for a product in a card should be the unit's actual selling price. Hence, if you provide bundle discounts, report the selling price, which might differ from product page's price. You don't need to calculate the card's value. Simply loop over items in customer shopping cart to produce line item divs. Many, if not all e-commerce sites make the shopping cart available also elsewhere than on the actual shopping cart page often as a small element on the top right corner on the general page template. Please include the card tagging in the minicard element as well. If a content of the minicard element is not made available on every page load, for example, if the card is loaded through Ajax, please refer to Nosto API guide at support.nosto.com to refresh the card content to Nosto. Other page types are less complex. On a login area, if one is featured, tag logged in user's name and email details. 
If sending details to Nosto conflicts with your privacy or security policies, you can skip this part. However, in a case you don't include email detail tagging, you can't use any of Nosto's email features. Track conferred orders on a page where a successful order is communicated to the customer. Except the unique order number, the required values on the order pages are the same than on previous page types, but make sure that the product ID on an order page is for the main product and not for an SKU. If for some reason you opted out reporting customer details to Nosto, leave the values empty, but please remember that you will not be able to utilize Nosto's email features. Finally, on category pages, tag the current category being viewed, which is used for category-specific top lists. After finishing all these steps, you can validate the implementation by enabling the unique Nosto debug tool in your browser that shows you what details are sent to Nosto. Also, the live feed in Nosto's admin panel should now be enabled. In case you still have troubles with the implementation, please refer to support.nosto.com forward slash implementation for most common issues checklist. If you made it this far, on my behalf, Thank you for watching and enjoy your day. For further advice and online manuals, please visit support.nosto.com.